Okay. Let's like introduce your name. Please. Yes. Uh, hello, I'm Adriana Lisidini, ambassador of Uruguay in Greece. Uh, I'm a career diplomat and I have been here since uh, 2012. Nice. Shall we say the first uh, question, please? Can you please provide us with an overview of the new legislative framework of Uruguay regarding cannabis regulation? What are the main elements? Well, uh, in uh, 2013, Uruguay became the first country in the world uh, to uh, fully regulate all the aspects of the uh, cannabis market. There are uh, three ways uh, for uh, uh, getting uh, cannabis in Uruguay, but you have to be a Uruguayan or a permanent resident and uh, over 18 years old. The first way is uh, self-cultivation. So a person uh, can uh, plant, uh, uh, harvest uh, their, uh, its own uh, uh, cannabis, uh, up to six plants per person, but uh, it has to put these plants into a registry uh, to be uh, controlled by uh, an appropriate authority. And, um, it has to be for personal use, only personal consumption, uh, and up to 480 grams uh, per person and per year. Uh, another way is to join a club member. Uh, it's, uh, um, uh, the clubs can have from 15 to 45 uh, persons. Uh, they can uh, plant and cultivate and harvest uh, up to 99 plants and also uh, 480 grams uh, per person and per year. Uh, and the third way is uh, to buy uh, the cannabis at a, a pharmacy. Uh, this pharmacy has to be authorized by the Minister of Health. It uh, has to be uh, in a registration. And the person who is going to buy the drug there uh, has to be uh, in inscribed in a, a registry uh, with all uh, its information, personal information, and also uh, with his fingerprints uh, taken. Um, more or less, well, uh, all the, uh, the three, the person has to choose just one of the three ways. Uh, it has to be exclusive. It can be combined uh, among them. Thank you. What are the main reasons behind this drug policy reform? Well, uh, in Uruguay, uh, there was an inconsistency uh, in, in the legislation because uh, since 1974, uh, the consumption of drugs uh, was uh, free, was permitted. Uh, but uh, not the uh, people uh, can go to uh, have to go to the illegal market to buy the uh, drug. So uh, in, in this way, uh, a person can legally consume but cannot legally uh, buy the drug. And uh, this pro provokes that the person was exposed to drug trafficking, to violence, uh, uh, so one of the reasons was uh, to uh, put a finish to this uh, inconsistency in the law. Um, besides that, uh, what uh, it wanted uh, the law uh, wants to, uh, was to promote health, uh, well-being, and also uh, human rights, uh, uh, because. Um, in Uruguay, there was a conviction that the uh, prohibition is, uh, was a failure. The, the, the war on drugs uh, failed. Uh, so uh, it was necessary to, to look for another way uh, that it has to do with our national reality. And um, People, uh, as, I, as I said, people was exposed to drug trafficking, violence, and so on. 
uh, because there there was an increase increase in, in an increase in uh, consumption of pasta base that was too much dangerous, and uh, so people who who was trying to to buy uh, cannabis was in contact with other kind of dangerous uh, uh, substances. Uh, so um, uh, a national strategy was adopted in 2011, uh, putting the human being in the in the center of the uh, drug policy. Uh, so the approach uh, was uh, prevention and education. Uh, well, in this uh, creates the atmosphere, the background necessary to uh, approve the law in 2013. The final question. Do you already have some results, positive or negative, that you would like to share with Greek policymakers and the public? Well, uh, it, it is an ongoing process. It, it has been very recent. Uh, I can tell you the situation right now is that uh, the government authorized two companies uh, to produce uh, uh, local cannabis, and uh, there are more than 5,000 people who registered for self-cultivation and uh, 22 uh, clubs. Uh, about pharmacies, uh, the process uh, was delayed because of a conflict into the mail uh, services where people have to register. But uh, it, it is, it is uh, almost solved. So we think that in, uh, in more, not more than a month, uh, the pharmacies are going to, to solve the uh, cannabis. Uh, I, I think it is important to say that uh, Uruguay uh, doesn't intend to be a, a model or an example for the others, but uh, it's a conviction that the, the, the uh, way uh, we were dealing with drugs were, was not good. So uh, we, we look for our own uh, method, I mean, uh, in, uh, uh, taking into account of our national reality. Uh, um, uh, also, uh, I think it's important to say that at the beginning, Uruguay suffered uh, a lot of criticism uh, by the international community. And in, in particular, the, the Narcotic uh, Drug Board on, on Vienna of the United Nations uh, said that Uruguay was not fulfilling his obligation under the uh, treaties on drugs. And uh, Uruguay is convinced that uh, the most important thing is uh, to fulfill the, uh, their, its obligations on the human rights uh, treaties that have uh, precedence over the others. And uh, think that maybe the international, uh, some international organization has to consider that maybe they are. Uh, uh, not conciliating very well the, the obligations uh, on, on, this, on the human rights that has to be at the top of everything.